The log launcher was on the right side of the map. He got locked onto by the archer tower and it just died right there. But there was nothing in it. There was nothing in it. What? <laughs> Is that creative? Is this on the Vanessa account? Probably. Oh gosh. Giant arrow just crossed the whole map. He's got the fireball on an air warden. Go with the quakes. Fireball the town hall. Boom. Everything in the town hall is gone. Welcome back, ladies and gentle fish, to the next matchup in the Creative Masters series. We're gonna have some fun attacks today. It's P. Castro from Navi taking on Yada and Andres. And let's see who's gonna be victorious. Who's gonna get the most triples? Who's gonna do the most fun attack? And who's gonna win the hots of the judges? I think this one might be five attacks on each side. So we're gonna get to see five attacks from P. Castro. And then either Yada or Andres, one of them has to do a third attack. Let's go. Yada in first with a Warden Walk, a Queen Walk, Barbarian King placed early, as well as a Log Launcher. Ice Golems out of the defensive clan castle. We got a Fireball, Frozen Arrow, both new stuff on the champion. Giant Gauntlet on the Barbarian King. Log Launcher trying to take out that Inferno Tower. Barch on the right side of the base. Let's go. Log Launcher does activate the Invisibility Tower nice and early. Uh, more Barch on the left side with a couple of balloons. Sure, sure, sure. Warden just doing his thing with the healers on the bottom side of the base. He's looking great. Is Queen going to path perfectly to the Town Hall? Maybe. Maybe. We're going to give that Warden a rage. Queen. Go inside, Queen. Oh, yeah, dude. She knows the plan. She knows the plan. Pop her ability. Queen's gonna get the Town Hall. More Barch on the right side. You still got a Royal Champion. We're gonna send her on the left with the Apprentice Warden. Let's go. The Grand Warden's gonna go over and help her out too. We invis the Queen. Uh, she's still gonna die. She's still gonna die. Yes. Off the Warden ability. Off the Royal Champ ability. Healers all over the place. Why are those healers ditching the Warden to go for Headhunters? I don't know. I don't know. Hog Riders from the Hog Puppet. Take out the Monolith. And the headhunters on a headhunter charge take out the inferno. Woo! Yo, let's go. That's epic. <laughs> Healers on a headhunter to win the attack. And he swags three freezes. Yo, down goes the builder hut. We'll get the last storage over here. And <laughs> just like that. That's a three star. D Castro with his first attack of the day. Here we go. Warden walk on the bottom side of the base with the unicorn on the warden and a level 18 fireball. Here we go. P. Castro getting spicy right away in this match. I love it. A lot of archers already doing some cleanup. We got a recall spell. We got 55 normal goblins. What was that log launcher? Am I tripping? Did he just have some sort of log launcher? Did he recall a log launcher? No. What the heck happened to his log launcher? Did anybody else see it? I'm very confusion. Queen with invis on the top side of the base. She'll get the town hall. Double invis. Fireball moves all the way through. And then the quake spells. And the entire core of the base is gone. Let's go. I love it. King, redeploy the queen after we recall her from getting the town hall. Skeleton spell, go in to the top right side of the base. Warden still getting value after all that fireball shenanigans. Another skeleton spell, ice golem, royal champion on the left side of the base. Okay. <coughs> cool. King Pop's ability, Ice Golem's on defense. There's a couple troll Teslas on this base. Good thing he saved some balloons. He still has 55 goblins, bro. He's gonna swag them all. He's gonna swag them all. Ice Golem freezing him up again. Dude, Warden with the Rage Gym and the Unicorn is actually kind of poggers, but now he's switching targets. But now we're gonna have Rage Gym healers to help out the Warden. Maybe just one for now. RC Pop's ability, got the Hog Rider Puppet. She's gonna get through the Monolith because of that. This is wrecked. He's gonna swag 55 goblins. <laughs> He's gonna swag 55 goblins. Oh my gosh. And four freezes. And eight hog riders. No freaking way, dude. 
No freaking way. If he has the time, he might need to drop some extra cleanup troops. Hogs from the Hog Puppet go left. RC is still alive. Dude, that Grand Warden never died with the Unicorn. That's so amazing. So amazing. This was cool. This was cool. Down goes the storage. <coughs> She'll move all the way to the right and take out the army cams. I gotta see what happened to that log launcher, because it's like, it just disappeared off the face of the earth. Hold on, we're gonna need an instant replay on that. Eight seconds to spare though, and it's a three star. The log launcher was on the right side of the map. We got locked onto by the archer tower. And it just died right there. But there was nothing in it. There was nothing in it. What? <laughs> is that creative? <laughs> I don't know. Andres is in for Team Nordic Nation. Let's see what he's got. His buddy Yada already started with a triple. Let's see if he can hit one as well. We got Warden with healers and an electric owl. We got a golem. We got some super minions. Zap Quake takes out a monolith right away. With an invis tower as well. Another fireball. Ooh. With a quake spell. Queen, golem, wall breaker on the top side of the base. He's multitasking now. Sure. Trying to keep an eye on this fireball. I don't want to miss it. But I also want to know if the queen goes in for the town hall. Down goes the eagle. Then we'll get the mortar. Queen's not going in for the town hall. It's a little sketchy. Warden's starting to take a lot of damage from these expos. Warden. Quake. Fireball. Boom. Everything on the bottom side of the base is dead. Queen with a wall breaker. Actually, it's access to the town hall. Does she get that? She does. Nice. 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 Okay. Warden back up to full health. He can still keep getting more value, I guess. Maybe. I think King was supposed to... Nope. There's an opening in the wall. He doesn't need a wall breaker. He's going to go in right over there. Road champion to help assist. Warden's still getting good value. Battle drill in the mix. Sure. Sure. We got archers. We got uh, ice golems. Battle drill. Champion. King. Warden. Going to move through the core of the base. Take all that out. That part's looking good. He's got two super minions. He's got 21 head hunters. I didn't even notice that until now. We don't have warden ability to use with these heroes, but we do have the rage gym helping out. Coming in clutch. Everybody doing extra damage. Skeleton spell right there to help fight the queen. Help distract her as well. Spam the two super minions from the top side of the base. I think he was trying to get them to go for the scatter shot. The champion's just going to clean everything up here, right? It's looking good. She's still going invisible thanks to that spirit of Fox. Could time be an issue? Good time be an issue as she has to go down for the Tesla and then back up for the scatter shot. He's trying to swag all the headhunters. Everybody's going for swag points in this match. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All the attacks with fireball are just leading to huge swag. That's actually insane. He's going to be able to swag 21 head hunters. Wow. Wow. RC and Warden live to tell the tale at full health with just a few seconds to spare. GG. P. Castro with a Warden on air with a Rage Gym. Ooh. Okay. You're just sniping a few B buildings so far. 100 normal goblins. Ooh boy. Is Air Warden going to be able to just solo the town hall here? Is that the plan? There is the Invis Tower. It's a little awkward. It is a little awkward. Does he have the fireball? He's got the fireball on an Air Warden. Go with the Quakes. Fireball the Town Hall. Boom. Everything in the Town Hall is gone. <laughs> Dude, this fireball is so fun. The heck's happening over here? Is it a Blizz? Oh, dude, his Super Wizards are getting wrecked. Oh gosh, I think he only has one left, and it's on one HP. The little wizard that could. The little wizard that could. That's awkward. His Blizz got like two buildings. 
Lol. Stars would not be proud. King on the left with a Frosty. Queen on the right with a Unicorn. Sure, sure, sure. Ice Gold with the King. Cool. Headhunter in the mix. Only gets like one shot off on the enemy Queen. There's a Giant over there, but the Giant was so late. Queen able to get through the Royal Champion with a Frozen Arrow, though. Another Ice Gold on the top side. King pops ability, clears everything on the left side compartment. We got the Royal Champion coming in from the top side. Go take out the Eagle Artillery section. All right, all right, all right. Headhunter to help get through the Barbarian King. I don't know if he's trying to swag 100 goblins or what, but this one might be the first attack that's struggling a little bit. I think it's because the Blizz didn't get the Eagle for all this value up here. We pop the RC ability. We're freezing in the core, but it was late. The Queen still dies. We might be seeing a fail. We might be seeing a fail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Champion goes down. Spirit Fox goes down. 82%. I don't think these goblins can get a whole lot. Three multi targeting Inferno Tower still up. The Monolith, Multi Archer Tower, Ricochet Cannons, Rage Tower. Big yikes. Big yikes. Yada, with the next attack, what do we got? What do we got? Four healers, five yetis, some zaps, and a quake, and a bunch of barch. Okay. Zap quake on the left. Sure, sure, sure. What do you get? An inferno tower, an expo, a wizard tower. Okay, okay, okay. Queen and unicorn up on the upper side of the base. We got a yeti to join the party, as well as a couple of barbs and a flame flinger on the left side. Warden with Rage Jim to join the Queen as well as an Apprentice Warden. Another Yeti. Yada using a bunch of Yetis. He's got an E-Titan as well. No Fireball on this one. We got spoiled with like three good Fireball attacks in a row. It's just going to turn into a big old Hero Smash. I guess. Four Super Wall Breakers. A couple of Rocket Balloons. Another Yeti on the right side of the base. Alright, alright, alright. That wall breaker, the next one going for the junction. Yeti Mites trying to snipe a building over the wall. They don't quite get the bomb tower down. Jump and spell. Sure. King ability gonna have to go off soon. Another Yeti and Archers on the right side of the base. This is pretty much just a hero smash. King ability first, then the Warren ability. Flame Flinger gets targeted by a Tesla. A little awkward. Super Minion's still going to be able to get some extra value, though. Rocket Balloon's trying to snipe the air defense. He doesn't quite get it. Invisibility Tower. Making things real spicy here. <coughs> the Warden goes down. We rage the King. He still has the Phoenix ability. Queen hopping the wall. She's going to help out. Yeti Mites over here should be able to snipe that last Tesla. He still has a Royal Champion. He should be able to turn this into a triple, I think. But was this really that creative? I don't know. It's just a hero smash, really. With like 50 bar barch troops that he's trying to swag. I don't know. You guys tell me. Was there anything special about that attack? I see. Pops her ability. Freeze spell. Good freeze to turn this into a triple. It is indeed a triple with plenty of time left over. Good attack for Mr. Yada. I don't know if that's going to win any creative points, though. But if we take a look at the stats so far, without any judge votes, Team Yada and Andres are three for three, so P. Castro might need to pick up the pace. P. Castro's third attack here. Two healers. 80 goblins. An E-drag. Oh, hello, Tesla and trap farm. What the? He's had to use almost all of his balloons just to set up a path for the flame flinger. Okay. There's this expo right there. Queen, and he pops the ability right away for a healer puppet. Lol. <coughs> All right. No queen ability for later. But I guess when you got the frozen arrow and the healer puppet, you don't really... The queen ability doesn't really give you any re health recovery or anything, so you might as well pop it right away. Cool. And then he deploys an extra two healers. Let's go. It's a queen charge now. Baby Dragon on the right. This Queen is struggling, though. Poison, Rage. She's okay. She's okay all of a sudden. Nice. Flame Flinger took out that Ricochet Cannon. Flame Flinger should be able to get a bunch of value now. This queen got that Expo. She's dealing with these 
silly, silly ice golem is first. Then she'll go left for the scattershot poison tower. Gonna slow her down quite a bit. We're gonna need another rage, maybe. Maybe he's got minions trying to get some outside building. There's another rage. There's a wall breaker on the right. Queen should go to the right now. Perfect. She'll be able to reach the town hall thanks to that next wall breaker. Flame Flinger is still flinging, getting really good value. This is a funny looking base. King up on the top side. Keep an eye on the queen. Is she okay? Frozen Arrow is going to help a lot when she fights the enemy queen. Nice, nice, nice. Royal Champion, Grand Warden, Combo, Wombo, Trombo. Even got the Poison Lizard helping out over there on the left side. I like that. King's Giant Gauntlet allows him to get the Scattershot and the Expo. That's so clutch. Champion going for the Monolith. We pop the Warren ability. A Healing Toe? A Healing Toe? Okay, he definitely should have used a Rage Gym. If you're using the Warden with the Champion like that, Rage Gym's a million times better. But he goes with a Healing Toe. And then rages up an E-Drag on the outside to chain the Expo. Maybe. If the E-Drag can get it. With the, <laughs> the invisible E-Drag. Let's go. He actually is getting some good bounces. Oh, he just chained the air defense and the air sweeper. I love it. Pop the RC ability. Poison Tower gets a chance to go off again. Grand Warren's somehow going to die before the champion. I don't know how that works, but it does. Oh, it's because the champion kept going invisible. We freeze, and then we freeze again. Champion doing the disco dance in the tornado trap. It's like she's on a treadmill. But after that session, runs out. One more freeze, and she's able to get through the last couple of defenses. This is wreck. Right? Don't die, champion. Don't die. Don't die. Don't. One HP in a dream. She lives. Let's go. That's a three star right there for Mr. P. Castro. He is back in this match. Baron Dean. Who is this? Is this on the S account? Probably. Oh, gosh. Giant arrow just crossed the whole map. And a, a zap quake. What did he get? A poison tower? Yay. Huh? I think he got one Inferno Tower as well. Was he supposed to get the Monolith and he missed some zaps or something? He's got two more zaps. I think he could get the Monolith if he zaps it. He activated the Invis Tower early so the King could go take the Town Hall. Log Launcher. The last... No? Huh? He miscalculated something. He needed one more zap. <clears throat> what the heck? What the heck? Royal champion on the top right side of the base. Did the arrow miss the monolith? We might have to check that out again. But the royal champion, the grand warden doing their thing. We might need a warden ability. He's got a life gem. This is another situation where I think the, the equipments on the Warden I don't think are ideal here. The Bats could easily take the Monolith if they can just get there. Bro, Champion's gonna have to fight these Ice Golems. I don't think he dropped the poison well at all. That's also awkward. <coughs> all the Bats are dead. That's even more awkward. What the heck was going on here? This might be Pete Castro's opening. He's going to get a defense here, a big defense that could put him right back in the match, in the lead. If you think he's been more creative so far. <clears throat> I don't know. He's got a Valkyrie, four wizards. He could try to pick up the percent, but percent doesn't really matter when we have judges voting at the end of this. Down goes the Eagle, Champion, still has ability. We got the Freeze first. We got the Spirit Fox going invisible. Hello, traps on the healers. Down goes the Monolith. This is too much for the RC to get, though. Even with the ability. Way too much. Popper ability. Boom, boom, boom. What, did he have the classic stuff on the champion? Yeah. That's awkward. That's awkward. Gonna grab a few more percentage points on the top side. This one gonna fall short at 84? I think so. 84. Let's take a look at that giant arrow again real quick. Real quick. Before we head on to the next attack. The giant arrow actually missed the monolith? The 
Did he not drop queen perfectly? She's like perfectly on the right. No, it definitely hit the monolith. It hits the CC, it hits the monolith. It hits the town hall. Then he has zaps for the inferno tower. He just didn't bring enough zaps or he dropped an extra one on the inferno tower. I don't know. P. Castro again with two healers and a healer puppet frozen arrow combo. This time starting with some bowlers to bounce funnel. Queen, pop the ability right away for that healer puppet. Drop the extra two healers. He's got two golems, two ice golems, an E-Titan, an Apprentice Warden, four quake spells, and a recall. Okay. All right. There's a wall breaker on the right side. Maybe Dragon to force the queen inside exactly where he wants her to go. She's gonna have to fight the Barbarian King. But we got the Headhunter to get a few shots off. We got the Frozen Arrow to slow him down. Still might need a rage. Still might need a rage. My guy. There's the rage. Wall break on the left. Sure. We're just gonna recall the queen. Are we gonna recall the queen? No. Your healer's gonna. Yeah, he is gonna recall that queen. Ice Golem. King. Warden. Apprentice Warden. Goblem on the left side of the base. Sure. With the Royal Champion on the left as well. Wall break to the second layer. Where's the queen gonna go? Why is he being so patient? Quad Quake, the core of the base. Cool. A jump spell could have done that though. Off the ward ability. Does a battle blend for the town hall. Wait, oh gosh, is it Bowler Bounce? Yo, what the? Bowler Bounce takes the monolith and the town hall. Let's go. Let's go. We redeploy the queen on the right side of the base. King stuck on CC troops. Awkward. What did the king have? He had the good stuff, but he's just stuck on ice golems. Trying to get through the wall. Another golem on the top side, ice golem on the right side, but that ricochet cannon locked down the queen, so we gotta go with an invis spell. Rage tower gets a chance to go off again. King already low on HP. Row champion doing the disco dance with the hog riders for the hog rider puppet. Down goes the king. We got the phoenix ability though. Queen will get through the ricochet cannon, trying to get some more value. We still got a jump spell. Still got a jump spell. I guess drop it over the scatter shot. But the king's already dead. Warden's going with the champion. She's gonna come back around. We already used her ability though. This is uh, this is looking sketchy. Queen's gonna die. Champion's low. Healers could help. Oh, uh, but it's too late. It's too late. This is a rip. Man, this is actually a time fill, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I don't know if the healers are gonna stay alive here. No, it's not a time fill. Multi Archer Tower 2 OP. Big rip, dude. 96% for Pete Castro on this one. Yada with the final attack for his team. What do we got? Queen charge, baby dragons? Early battle blimp. With the freeze, with the invis. With the wall breakers. With the super wizards. Let's go. Good blizz value right here. Ooh, baby. But he doesn't, he skips the multi though. Rip. He kept making the multi invisible. That's awkward. Queen on the left side with the unicorn. Got a healing toe. Both the new stuff on the champion. Healers on the queen. Blizz, queen charge, baby dragons. All right. All right. Takes her two to three business days to deal with all these ice golems, but eventually they go down. Got more healers on her. Eagle's almost away. This one Inferno Tower that the Blizz skipped is going to be awkward. This is taking so much time to set up the Queen Charge. Send the King toward the Town Hall. A couple Rocket Balloons funnel him in, but now the Eagle's awake. Alright, 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 alright. Queen will get that eagle, she'll keep going left. 
more baby dragons on the upper side of the base. One more ice golem coming out. Might slow down the king. This could get really spicy. We go with the invis. Make sure he gets that town hall. Sure. Queen taking a lot of damage here. He's trying not to rage her. I guess. Healer's now taking damage. Was it the tornado trap that pulled the king back away from the expo? I guess so. Does he still get it? The phoenix might finish it off. He... No. Awkward. Royal Champion Grand Warden Healing Spell, or Healing Tome, I should say. Rage Spell. <clears throat> gonna try to go clear the upper side of the base. There's still one Ice Golem on defense that's gonna slow us down for a few seconds, and he's already starting to run out of time. Drops all the balloons for a cannon. What in the world? Here we are fighting the Ice Golem. We get frozen. Diggy. <clears throat> Trying to see if he can get some nice stun effects off. But, uh... I don't think this one's gonna work, is it? Well, hold on. Healer's switching over to the Royal Champion. Queen getting through the nice junction wall. This might actually work. Oh, but he lets the champion die. He let the champion die. That freeze was so late. What the heck, dude? We got hogs on the healers, but we're running out of time now. Go, 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 go. Invis the baby dragon. Go, go, go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Ooh! Dude, that one late freeze. You could have kept the champion alive. Just cost you a star. You better hope that doesn't come back to bite you in the butt after the voting. D Castro, the final attack of the match. Again, two healers. A recall spell. Flame Flinger early. Yeti and some headhunters to fight the Barbarian King. We got the, the healer puppet frozen arrow combo. All right, all right, all right. Down goes that wizard tower. Flame Flinger gonna go get some nice value. Queen, pop the ability right away. Let's do it. Let's do it. Drop the other two healers. Cool, cool, cool. Down goes the mortar. Minion on the outside. Once the archer tower locks onto the archer queen. Just gotta make sure you're always watching her health now that you don't have a queen ability. Oh, oh, freeze. <clears throat> that was a great freeze. Queen gets the enemy RC, gets the scatter shot. Okay, okay. What's going to be next? What the? Jumping spell for the BK? We just got 75 goblins. What an absolute G. We're going to recall. Drop her on the other side. RIP to that fifth healer. King, Ice Golem, Giant going in on the left side of the base. Cool, cool, cool. Wall break for the Queen to go up and get the Town Hall. Golem and Royal Champion on the right side of the base. Oh, Queen's going the wrong way. Queen's going the wrong way. No. Rip. King on the left with the Giant Gauntlet should be able to get a bunch of value. Trying to fight the Ricochet Cannon. Trying to fight the CC Troops with his Splash. He even gets the Inferno Tower. We're going to Rage. Champion, Queen, Warden combo. We just got to power through to get the Town Hall now. He's got no other choice. Pop the Warden ability. Powering our way through that first compartment. Getting in toward the core of the base. Golem. Splitting into Golemites. Super minions out of the Flame Flinger. We're going to have to finish on the Town Hall. And there's the Invis Tower there to make things extra, extra spicy. Skeleton spell. Down goes the monolith. Oh gosh, dude, this Invis Tower is going to make things really weird. Really weird. We do have three more spells. We got 75 goblins. Lol. Healers. Ooh. Ooh. Rage Invis, the RC charge. Freeze the Town Hall Expo. Goblins all along the outside of the base. Super minions caught up. Down goes the Town Hall. Ooh. It's going to work. Come on, down goes that expo. Champion dies. We're dropping minions. We're dropping goblins. They're wanna, they want to go for the storage, though. They're all dying. No, he's not going to get the triple. He needed this for the extra star. He needed it real bad. And he's not going to get it. Oh, it gets a 95%. It was fun attack, though. Nordic Nation finish in the lead by a star, 13 to 12. But we still got to see how the judges vote.
The votes are in for Andres and Yada and P. Castro. We had three judges' votes today. Exco says Fatal and Sora and, uh, well, the judges definitely favoring Andres and Yada here today. Did they do something that special? I don't know. You tell me if you're watching this on YouTube, but Andres and Yada getting the extra stars and they already had the lead, which means P. Castro is going to be eliminated from the tournament. See you later, nerd.